Hi, everybody. Here I am again. Oh, my goodness sakes, you guys. couple things. Uh, I want to thank everybody who came to our sale. Ray and I did a sale on Wednesday, and we did very well. It was so much fun. It was fun. And because I'm de-stashing, and Ray, she makes things in kits, and she sells those kind of things on her sale. And um, we always have a quick sale. We're not on for hours. We're just on for uh, about an hour each one of us, you know, maybe a little over an hour for each one of us. Well, we did just fine. And um, so we did that on Wednesday. I don't have all the invoices ready to go yet, but tomorrow is my plan to do just invoice, get everything weighed, packaged, weighed, and invoiced. I plan to do that tomorrow. There's a couple that I don't have addresses yet. Um, Sarita, Sarah, I need your address. And then Double Blessings. There was a girl called Double Blessings something. Um, I don't have your address yet. And Jill Kane, I need your address. And so that I can't figure out the shipping price until... I have your address. So if you could send me them to my email, uh, my email is listed below in the description box. So if you will um, make sure I have your address, that way I can let you know what your total price is along with the shipping. And then I'll have everything packaged and ready to go. And, um, and yeah, okay. So anyway, what I wanted to tell you today is... I was talking to my friend Cordula, and we was talking on the on the chat on the on the um, messenger video chat, and she was crocheting something, and she had this odd hook. She had an odd hook. It had a hook at the end with an eye, like a needle. So a hook with an eye, like a needle eye. And she goes, I don't know what that is, really, and I don't even know where I got it or whatever. And so I said, well, we need to know this. So I'm talking to her on the telephone. Let me throw that one forward. On the telephone. And so then I picked up my Kindle, and I started looking it up to find out what is that hook with an eye at the end. Well, we found out that's called a locker hook. It's for locker, locker, um, Hooking, locker hooking. And so then we went further and I looked up to find out if there's a video on locker hooking. And oh my gosh, there are locker hooking videos. So many. The one that I found out to be most accurate, or no, I shouldn't say most accurate. I should say the most easy to understand and really explained everything was um what's her name? Barb Owen. I'll go ahead and link hers down below too. I'll link her her video that I watched for the locker hooking. And um but there's a lot. There's a lot of videos out there for locker hooking. Now I'm watching one um I'm watching one now that's actually making a little turkey in the middle of hers. So she's going all over the place with her with her locker hooking and oh my goodness so anyway by the end of the day hang on a minute yes papa no i'm not sitting and got any you got something hanging on your robe there oh you must have picked it up it's string picked up from the aquarium <laughs> what are you doing oh i am i'm making a video here yeah, that's okay. All right. Okay. Papa's my keeper. He's making sure that I wasn't being like, yeah. My drink supply is fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so I wanted to just kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm not teaching you anything on here because later on after I get this one done and I start another one, then I'll show you what I start. Okay, so... The way I started it, of course, was to um, 
let the fingers do the walking through Amazon. And I purchased this rug hooking, rug hooking mesh canvas for locker hooking, latch hooking, and needle crafts. Great for rugs, tote bags, mats, and more. 100% cotton and, oh, 3.75 mesh. So I, there's different sizes of mesh and I didn't know what size I really needed. So I just, I just picked one, but I picked a piece. I mean, you can get small pieces, but this one, I ordered this big one because I figured I'd need plenty. And, um, and I just figured I'd need plenty. And, and so, but this is 3.75 mesh. And I think that means that's three and three quarters. Um, let me see if I can see through this line here for my measure one two three oh. which is the inch oh that's the inch I think that means there's one two three and three quarters yeah that's what that would be three and three quarters uh, block between in each inch so that's what that means and then I ordered, I had to order that too. Um, I said, what the heck, I made some money at my sale, although I don't have it yet. See, I spend it before I get it. And um, But it's called a locker hook. And I guess they do not come in different sizes. It's just a locker hook. So I guess in, they just come in one size. But this is, I just want to show you, I just want to work a couple a few stitches here. I know this morning I was sitting working on my um on my um what am I doing in there? Oh my kawandi. Oh gosh I'm so hooked on that and I'm working on a kawandi in my chair and oh I love it. I love it. I love it. So um but then I seen this I said I gotta try this too. I just have to try everything I see. So see now this is the locking thread. I'm using a yarn. Um, what I've watched people do is they've used, actually did fabric all the way around the edge because I first went around, I used yarn. And so once I folded the, um, you fold the, um, the webbing, the mesh down a couple squares and then you go around and you put an edging on it which I just used plain, ordinary yarn to do that edging and just went in each hole two times and just whip stitched all the way around. And so that's what I did. But then what we do is we put this, this is the locking thread here. So that is in my, um, the hook, the hole on the hook. This is just, this video is just to get you all interested. That's all. I'm not teaching you how to do yet because I'm just learning. But this is to get you interested because this is what happens to me. And I figured if it happens to me, it's got to happen to you too. So see, I've already, I'm on my third row. One, two, three rows. So what I've got, now I've got this strip. And I'm using um, batik fabrics. And the only batik I have is this right here. It's just like, I don't know what I would use this for anything else. But it's got skull and crossbones on it. But see, it's the same on both sides on a batik. So that's why people, I guess, use it. Also, it's nice and soft. It tears nicely because I tear the strips. We tear the strips. And I got my strips torn. Well, this one's only about a half an inch. But um, about three quarters of an inch, you wanna, is what I'm showed that you should use. And so, and... The only other batik I had was this little bit of pink, which I'll probably add this in it. I'll probably add that, a little bit of pink I had, and this little bitty strip of yellow. I said, well, as far as I searched through all my fabrics, that's how much batik I found. But see, now that I'm putting this together, you don't see that it's skull and crossbones. It's just that. Okay, so now I have this strip, and I stick my needle down in the next hole, and I pull up a loop. And then I put it in the next hole, and I pull up another loop. I mean, this is how easy this is. And then in the next hole, 
and I pull up another loop, and then there's one more hole on that row, and I'll pull up another loop. Now that's where my knot is, where I added, added a piece. So I don't want my knot to come through. I want it to stay over there to the bottom. The edge ones, the edge holes are a little tighter because that's where you've got your binding through. And I think it would be even harder doing, getting the binding through if you've got, if you did the, the edging, the binding with uh, the fabric. And I, I have to use easy ways. Okay, so that's four loops I have on my hook. And then see that um, locker thread, the yarn I'm using, is um, I seen where watching um, Barb Owen, she was using, well, I really don't know what she was using. She was, but she had some black she did on the edge. But, and maybe it was just the, also the, just a different color of um, of the of the batik. Okay, and so now I'm just pulling that thread through. See, it's on the needle already, so I'm just pulling it through, and that's what locks. I missed a loop. Hey, gum it! I missed a hole. No, I didn't. I missed two holes. I wonder if I can pull that. Yes, I can. I can pull that back out of there. I'm gonna pull that back out of there. Because I just I just got too excited, so I'm gonna pull that yarn back out of there, out of those four that I just did. I'm just gonna pull them, pull that back out of there. See, I make errors. I get excited. I'm telling you, I just get excited, and then I make little errors. But that's okay. I can fix and pull that back out of those four. Pull that back out. Put this back on this here threaded. I mean, put it back in this needle, in this tool, this hook, this lopper, what I say? Locker, locker hooking, locker hooking. Okay, locker hooking, yeah. Okay, so now, now I'll go back in here. Now, see, because I needed, did I say I missed two there? Oh, no, I didn't miss that one. Okay, so now that's better. So I'll do that again. Pull up my loop. Pull up the next loop. Pull up the next loop. Pull up the next loop. And then pull up that last loop on that row. Now I have all my loops on my hook there. So now I'll pull that through again. And I fixed my, my mistake. There you go. And so now... Those ones are ready. So now I'm ready to turn it. Now, um, and then I've seen some of them, they go around and then around and around and around. I guess you can do it any way you want. And some people, they'll take and they'll draw a picture in the middle. They draw a picture with a marker or something and use that image there. And they can use different colors and make something beautiful. Well, this one's only going to be just, just, I guess it'll be like a hot or something I can use in the kitchen and um because it's just my learning piece so now I'm going to start here and where's my fabric oh there it is Let's see yeah I'm gonna did I miss oh no I got that on there it's on there okay um yeah I'm gonna have to shop for a better way of a cheap way it, i look for cheap you know oh, good grief i'm cheap and so now i'm going to pull up some loops i'm going the other way now and so i'm just i hold my hook like a shovel and then here another loop and then here another loop and then here another loop See, and you can just put as many as or as few. I mean, you could do one loop at a time, but no, you don't have to do that. That'd take too long. That'd be taking us too long to do that. But I'm just going to just see. I just got my 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 um strip of fabric underneath, and um I think this is just awesome. You can just 
every time you add a piece of fabric, you can add a different color. You can have a real rainbowy looking rainbow. This is Pride Month, so if you do a ride, uh, if you do a rainbow, there you go. There you go. Okay. So there, see, now I have, I don't know, i got about eight loops on there. I'm going to pull that, you know, I'll pull that, that um, locking thread through the locking strip. And some people, like I say, they just use the, the, the just the strip of um, the fabric as their locking, locking thread, their locking fabric, material, whatever. I'm just showing you how fun it is. I ain't teaching you a flipping thing. You have to watch Barbo and got to remember to put that under. And so there, see, pull that through. So now, hang on to my little thread or my, um, I just kind of hold on to it underneath there. And then the next hole, put up a loop. I mean, I just want you to see how easy this is. I mean, good grief. Two nights ago, I'd never even heard of this stuff. And then, of course, my um, enabling sister, Cordula. Sister Cordula. She had to half the darn hook, and she didn't even know what it was for. But boy, are we now, I'm hooked. She, I'll make sure she becomes hooked, too. We're hookers. Locker hookers, you know. we got to come out of the locker. Some people come out of the closet for reasons. We're coming out of the locker. Okay. And see, and then just pull that through. And that thread just locks them all in. But you can make, like, a little something or a big something. Oh, and then even um, on the video that I'll post, Barbara Ola's, she makes little bracelets. I'm telling you. Book covers. She's made book covers. She'll show you. She'll show you in her, um, in her video. So I'm just here to get you all interested. And then I don't teach you. I just get you interested. And then, I mean, you'll probably have to go buy a hook because you probably don't have one. But then maybe everybody knows this before I do. And maybe I'm teaching, maybe I'm just preaching to the choir, or whatever, however they say that. Maybe you already know and you're probably thinking, oh, woman, you just not learning about this. But apparently this is something that's been done for years and years and years. Is people make, and this is... You know, you can use, um, I would say, I have something. I have um, a bag full of sh a, sh a bed sheet that I I um, tore into strips. I looked for that, but I couldn't find it. Because stuff hides itself in this house. Stuff hides itself. So now I'm almost getting to the end. So I will show you how I connect. The next piece, see, and there I'll just get, just keep getting some more, just getting me some more on there, getting me some more of them little um things on there, the loops, pulling up that loop, stick that needle through the next, or that hook through the next hole, and I don't know if this is the proper size of, oh, wait a minute, I've got to leave a little piece there. Can I do that? Oh, no. Okay, and then I'll pull, pull my locker thread through there. And it won't take long for me to get all the way down and finish this. Okay, see, now I'm at the, um, kind of at the end of my piece. So now what I do is I take the, Got a few of them here, here just because I just tore them. Well, then you got to unskin them there, pull them extra threads out. And because I use extra threads for stuff, I save this stuff. I make sandwiches out of it. Well, not sandwiches to eat, but sandwiches to sew. And so I just pull them threads off of there. 
because, you know, if you leave the threads on there, then that can kind of be problematic. Spider webs here. You could save them for Halloween and have spider webs. Um, okay, so see now there, I've got this. And so on both ends of this new strip now, I'm going to I just fold that over and take my scissor and just cut a little buttonhole kind of thing in there. See there? And then I'm going to do that at the other end too. Cut that little tiny buttonhole. Now, I guess you could, if you wanted to, you could, you could, um, oh, it's got right there. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably put a whole bunch together. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to. Okay, so then I'll take one end of that, of the new one, and put it through the buttonhole on the old one. That's already there. And then, just pull that new buttonhole through. Then take the other end of it and put it through that buttonhole sort of thing. That buttonhole sort of thing. And then you just kind of um, pull that through. Just pull it right on through. Just pull it right on through. Just put it right on through. Just right on through. Okay. And then see there. And then give it a nice little tug. And you got a little knot there. So um, the little knot you want to try and make sure that knot stays down at the underneath of your of your project. But um, and it'll stay under there. So then there you go. You're ready to, to go again. And you just start pulling up some loops. I mean, this is like a no-brainer. And this is called locker hooking. I just learned it. And I got to show you, the, you people. I got to show you. You guys are my friends. And so I got to show you that I'm still learning stuff even though I'm very old. Even though I'm very old, I can still learn new things. See, there, you know, there's sometimes I used to think I know everything. Well, no, I've never really thought that. See, now I've got all them on that, on that row. So there I go. There I go. This is going to be so soft. And so, um, but once I find my bag full of, of, um, of sheets, strips. Once I find that, see this here little weaving that I did, I did with them sheet strips, and that's what I got. And it's real soft, too. I did that with them sheet strips. So they couldn't be too far, because I just did this recently. That is so soft. Not sure yet what I'm going to do to finish that. It goes in my pile of things I make. Just things I make. They don't have to have a reason or nothing. No reason or nothing. So now I'm going to start going back the other way. So put my little hook down in there. And boy, I got to go eat. My sugar is dropping. I got to go eat. So, um, boy, it's weird when your sugar, you can feel that sugar drop. Meat and beans. I'm telling you, I am eating so many beans lately. I don't mind. But I ordered me some Beano so it's to protect the family. I ordered me some. It'll be here tomorrow. I ordered it from Walmart. It'll be here for tomorrow. Protect the family from the bean diet. I got to get healthy. I can't eat nothing with sugar. Can't eat nothing with salt. Can't eat nothing with carbohydrates. Can't eat nothing with vitamin D. Can't eat nothing with vitamin K. I'm eating beans. Beans things are good for your heart. The more you eat, the more. Well, anyway, there's a poem. Well, you can say beans, beans, a musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. You can put it that way, too. That's The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat the beans that have been able to your family might well move out. So you got to order the beano. I hope the beano works. Okay, see, and there you go. You just get a few of them loops on your hook. If you don't have the money to order this, order you a hook in some of this mesh, just 
tell your husband you're not going to feed him this month. Yeah, someday. You got to pay your electric bill. So anyhow, that's just all I wanted to show you. The time is at 25 minutes. Okay. But see, that is just it. And then you pull that through. Pull that through. And look at that. See how it's just building along. I like it. I think using the yarn as that edging is just fine. Just fine. It's pretty. Okay. That's all I'm going to bother you with. Just a minute. I'm going to tell you something more about Father's Day coming up. Okay. That's not on the right page. Father, we did that one yesterday. Okay, here. Okay, I do always read at the end of my little videos for some reason or another. It's, now it's become a habit. And so, um, now it's become a habit. Okay. It's so nice to have a dad around the house. That's our special people. No home should be without, for every family will agree. They're so nice to have about. They, they are a happy mixture of a small boy and a man. And they're very necessary in every family plan. Sometimes they're most demanding and stern and firm and tough. But underneath, they're soft as silk. For this is just a bluff. But in any kind of trouble, Dad reaches out his hand. And you can always count on him to help and understand. And while we do not praise Dad as often as we should, we love him and admire him. And while that's understood, it's only fair to emphasize his importance and his worth. For if, those, if there were no loving dads, this would be a loveless earth. And right now, like my personal dad, my dad has gone to heaven. I miss him terribly. The dad of my children, he's gone to heaven. I miss him terribly. But I have three sons. They are awesome dads. They're awesome dads. And then when you think about the next door neighbor, is he an awesome dad? You know, there's a lot of dads around. You don't have to just think about your own dad. Think about how many dads are out there that really make this world a wonderful place. And, and that is what we are going to... Look at that. All the poems they have on a dad is two. Hmm. You should have more than that because then it comes up on Thanksgiving. But anyway, um, yes. You know, dads are a blessing. They could be our dads or they could be somebody else's dads. They're a blessing. They are really blessing. These are poems by Helen Steiner Heiss. And with that, I just wanted to show you this. I just wanted to show you. Oh, and also the challenge coming up for um, this month of June is, well, it should be posted. I believe it's posted. I believe um, that Ray posted it today in the group, in the Scrap and Lizzie group, so that you'll see what the challenge is. And there's, I already saw that there was two people that already entered the challenge. And um, so you'll see what the challenge is in that post. And um, it was, it's fun this month because we allowed for the, um, we, we allowed for the, the people in the chat to choose five items. And with those five items, you will create the challenge, however you figure to do it. And go ahead and then post that because you are sharing inspiration to others. And I've already, just from the two that I saw so far, um, oh my goodness, what awesome, what awesome things, what awesome inspiration. And so what we do then now on the 1st of July now is when we're going to pick everybody's name that put, that puts up a post. Because you only have to take a picture of it and put it up in the group. Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn Facebook group. And all you have to do is just put that up there. Become a member if you're not a member. And then put up, um, put your picture up. And then you put Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn. No, you don't. You put Scrapping scrap Sunshine. Scrapping scrap Lizzie Sunshine. Five. I think this is number five. Anyway, you read the, read the post just to make sure. Because it should be pinned at the top. 
and then add your thing. And then once a month, we choose a winner. And it's just the luck of the draw. It's There's no way we can pick which one is best because they're all best. And so it's just the luck of the draw. Everybody's name goes in the garbage can. And, um, well, it's a miniature garbage can. Anyway, we pull one name out of there. And this month's winner is going to get, see, when I first started learning my, um, my ko uh, Kowandis, I made this little miniature one. And it's, see, the Kowandis, you put these little triangles on every corner, and that's what tells you that's a Kowandi. All Kowandis will have these little triangles at every corner. I did not, although the stitching is supposed to go all the way to the middle, but I didn't want to cover up this little boy right there because I thought he was so cute. And so when I learn something, I kind of do my own thing with it. But that's a little quantity. But see, it's a little quilt for a little mouse. You could make that for a mouse. But this is going to be what the winning prize is. So you want to check that, you want to check out that group. And, um... And join it if you haven't. Read the um, read the directions. Read the read the uh, the post that tells us about the the challenge for this month. You got a whole month to do it. Then at the first of the month, that's when we. In, and on the first and the fifteenth of every month, we're going to have a little sale. That's when I'm going. That's where my bee station is. I'll give you the opportunity to buy all my junk and my stuff last month or this past on the first was just all, mostly all, um, just junk journal stuff, and so, and I appreciate everybody who purchased from me, and yep, you're going to have your invoice within just a couple of days, I'm hoping to get them all done tomorrow, but like I said, I need a few addresses, if you didn't send me your address, I've got most of the addresses already, because I, I wanted everybody to send it to my email, and so, yeah, okay, and my email will be below this video, and I'm going to put the link to um, the the link to um, did I just call her name? I just called her name, and I know her name. I've been watching her for years, and I can't tell you her name. Oh, good grief! I will put the link to where I watched that I learned that I learned most of the best she explains very well Barb Owen Barb Owen she selects uh, she um, explains this very well how she did hers and um, and she'll show you some samples of some of the things she has done but I think this is awesome I mean it it doesn't take much skill at all it don't take any skill if I can do it it doesn't take any skill Okay, I just got to watch over you. Every step you take, every move you make, bring you back safe and sound and happy and healthy and humble and everything good to the next video, which you never know when the next video is going to be. Okay, God bless and keep you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and watching this silly video.